Hi guys, Being Golf here. You can also find me on Instagram. And if you like the content I create, please leave a like and consider subscribing. We find ourselves at Gladal at the first hole in Belgium. It's a par 5, it's 508, 510 yards long. You have to curve it all around the tree to the left and after about 400 yards it's a dogleg to the right again. We don't really curve it, we don't really draw it, we just hit it straight towards the bunker. So we're here for our second shot, um, aiming over the bunker on the right and trying to hit a big fade. So I, I have enough distance and I fade it into the, into the dogleg, which I successfully do. I really struck it well, it went over the bunker, into the gap and I have a very short shot into the green. It's 52 yards, um, trying to put it close, the, the flag is, or the pin is in front of the green, in the front of the green. So we just try to make a, a good shot, hit it close and, and make a birdie. Um, but first you have to get there, it's the third shot of the day. Keep looking at it, keep looking at it, and it lands on the green, trickles down. And we have a pretty short shot, about four to five feet towards the green. And we hope we can make it work. Starting with the birdie would be very nice. There is some break in this putt though. Um, from my point of view, from where I'm standing, the ball is gonna break from the right to the left. So we have to adjust our lining a little bit, just outside of the hole and hopefully it turns back and falls in with the right pace, that should be doable. Trying to focus here, concentration with short putts is key. Aim it right and it falls in, so we make our first birdie of the day and also the first fist pump of the day. On to the next hole, the second hole from the white tees at Gladal. it's a pretty long par 4. Uh, pretty strong uh, dog leg to the right as well. You want to hit it straight. If you hit left, you're out of bounds. If you hit right, you're in trouble in all sorts of trees. So I took my tree wood and tried to hit it straight. Usually I fade my shots, so hitting straight is, is well, it's hard for everyone, I guess. We, uh, we all want it. So I faded it too much. Um, luckily, it was long enough, my tree wood was long enough, and we just have an angle towards the green. We have to curve around the trees ahead of us, out of the rough, but considering I usually hit a fade, this is a shot that suits my eye. So I tried to aim a little bit left of the tree and cut it back towards the flag, which you can barely see. I hit it pretty solid, but I just missed the green. It's Pretty much pin high, a little bit further than the pin. I just missed the green, but to be honest, from the lie where I was, I would take this shot any day. For me here, this is a short chip, uh, but 50% of the time I use my putter as well. It's what you feel best during that day. Uh, today it was a short chip shot. Try to get it close to the hole and save par. Hit it pretty good, rolled out quite nicely. So this should be an easy, an easy putt for par to preserve the, the one under that we are at. So we're take, I'm taking my time to mark my ball, think about the putt, it's just maybe two, maximum three feet away from the hole. Um, so you definitely want to make this one, taking my time. First time on camera as well, so the little stress is there. And this is what usually kills me during a round, sh missing short putts. We all hate it, because this one was just as long. Made that one relaxed, a little bit frustrated in my head. So. We wiped out our birdie and we're back to even par. On to the third hole of the day, the third hole of the course, which is a par 3 of about 180 yards. It's my least favorite or one of my least favorite holes of the course. 
not because it's long because that's technically no issue but you never know where the wind comes from on this hole uh, the green is guarded with some trees on the left on the right on the back but with enough space in between them so the, the wind can tr uh, can go between the trees so you never know where you'll end up however today i hit a pretty good shot um, i just had some wind into my face that i didn't feel that i didn't expect it was straight straight towards spin just well 20 30 yards short um, so we have to chip it over this hill flag is in the middle of the green you want to either flop it and carry it to the flag or you want to chip it over that hill hit the back slope of the hill and let it run out towards the flag i think i duffed it here a little bit because i actually tried to hit the flop shot however i hit it far enough to hit the back slope and the ball ran out all the way towards the hole it is still a good 12 to 15 feet away camera angles might be deceiving a little bit but as you can see from the from the speed of the ball speed of the green and the length it takes to get to the hole uh, from my next shot you will see that it's still quite a distance so we're trying to save par here which we don't do um, as you can see there was some more sloping than expected as well um, so we make our second bogey in a row and we're at plus one so due to some technical difficulties on the fourth hole I totally missed that one uh, I didn't have it on camera well I don't have it on camera um, so we find ourselves at the fifth hole and also the second shot because somehow my camera didn't record my tee shot either however where I'm at at the moment I am on the fairway of the fourth so I totally sliced my tee shot my driver to the right and if you look very closely behind the thick tree ahead you can see the yellow flag so I have to go over the tree to even have a chance to get there in two but it's still a very very long long way so I chose to hit it over hope for the best and get it as close as I can however after my technical difficulties my luck hasn't turned back yet because on my way to the green I hit the tree on the left it bounced back and I found myself in between so I still have a chip of around 74 yards well it's not really a chip anymore I still have a hit I have to hit about 74 yards to get to the flag from in uh, from in the rough and in between the trees I look a bit disappointed because I landed short of the green however it rolled down and got even got near the flag so I picked this guy up along the way because well he was playing at this speed I was playing at mine we had a good chat it's a fun guy he was a little bit deaf so I had to shout at him to to make myself understandable so actually we have this shot to save par it's a good I would guess it's a good six feet um, it's always nice if they roll in unfortunately my luck really hasn't turned yet and I have a small lip out and make my third bogey in a row on to the sixth hole then uh, it's a par five pretty long well it's okay it's 516 yards but we still have a lot of uh, danger along the way if you pull it left you're behind the tree that blocks your way to the fairway if you go straight that's fine obviously and if you fade it or slice it right you find yourself on the seventh hole on the seventh fairway uh, and from there on you can play um, in the opposite direction so that's not a problem at this tee shot here I pulled to the left so as I said earlier if you pull it left you're gonna find yourself behind some trees blocking your way to the fairway and that's exactly where I find myself in the rough behind a big tree so the only option here well you have two options here you can either um, punch it back on the fairway to the right 
However, I chose to go over the tree because, well, the only way you can go is forward towards the pin. So I took my 9 iron and I totally went for it. I was never gonna reach the green, but at least I was in a good position to get there in 3, as you should on a par 5. And as you can see here, I find myself in the middle of the fairway after my shot over the tree and I have about um, 130, 129, 130 yards left towards the pin. The pin is in the middle of the green, middle right of the green, so there's plenty of space. There's still a lot of water on the right, but that shouldn't even be in play. Um, so we're just gonna go for it, go for the, for the pin. And that strategy pays off. I find myself close to the pin. I think it's about six to seven feet away. Um, taking my time here to make the birdie, since we have some some scores to make up for. Um, so after that pull of a tee shot and hitting my second shot over the tree, I find myself in a good position and I make the birdie. So that's a nice thing. Um, we're back to plus one. So the technical difficulties remain. I totally missed recording my tee shot from the seventh hole. Uh, however, we find ourselves left of the fairway. I pulled my tee shot again. I think it's a thing today. Um, the green is behind those bushes and trees that you can see. I totally went for it and somehow it paid off. Because as you can see, I find myself on the green and not even that far away from the pin. However, from this point of view, the ball looks way closer to the pin than it actually is. You will see later when I hit it. It's also not an easy putt. It's downhill, pretty steep, and with a strong sloping from left to right. So taking my time here, trying to concentrate, trying to hit it at least close. Don't hit it long, that's what you think and that's exactly what I do so as you could see it was still a pretty long putt uh, and it turned strongly from left to right I had to make this one for a par though however another tree putt and another bogey today so we're back to plus two on to the eighth hole uh, of the course the previous to last hole of this vlog it's a uh, par 4 dog leg to the left par 4 is 369 yards long all you want to do here is take a long iron or take a tree wood hit it straight hit it far enough because you can see i hope you can see the big tree um, ahead on the left you need to hit it past that otherwise this will be blocking your entrance towards the green so here i just take my tree wood I aim straight and I try to hit it as far as I can. Which amazingly today finally works out. This time I didn't pull it from the tee. I hit a pretty straight shot, pretty long shot. Um, the direction is was totally where I wanted. However, I left it short and as I said earlier, that tree will be in my way towards the green. The only real option I have here is to go over because I only have about 140 yards in, so if I want to go low and fade it around the tree, um, well, I honestly, I don't have that kind of shot uh, in my bag. I want it, but I don't have it, so I just go over it and hope for the best. I fade it a little bit over the top, but in the end, that might turn out to be very good, because the pin position was in the front, on the right, and I hope well exactly I find myself on the green as you can see on the right that was the tree we went over faded over it and I have a pretty good position here for a surprising birdie chance um, again taking my time marking my ball trying to focus uh, trying to read the line it's a, s a slight uphill putt uh, pretty straight so it should be straightforward as well the only thing you really have to do here is you have to dare you have to dare to hit it. Don't be afraid. So that's what I try to do here. It just turns a little bit right. Pace was good. 
line maybe the aim was was a little bit off so i make a bar here again so after all those birdies and bogeys especially i make a bar again so we're on to the the ninth hole uh, at Gladal, which i guess is it is its signature hole uh, because you only have a tee box the rest is water and then you have the green from the white tees you have 144 yards to the middle of the green all the way over the water uh, you can't leave it short you find yourself in danger you can pull it left because you will be in the bunker or, or even worse you will be out of bounds and you can't fade it or slice it right either because you will be in the water again hit a good shot here uh, found the green always happy to find the green here you don't really have another option but it's always good to be on the putting surface surface Unfortunately, the technical difficulties of today remain the same and you will see later what happens. For now I have a pretty long putt in front of me, it's slightly uphill but pretty straight so I just need to focus on getting my pace right to leave it somewhere along the hole, around the hole and as you can see the technical difficulties, the last difficult te technical difficulties of today have uh, been provided to you so i missed my long putt um, however i will make the next one which will leave us at plus two for my first my very first nine hole vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it um, and if you like these kind of videos and if you want to see more in the future please leave a like consider subscribing um, there will definitely be more in the future and I will sor sort out these technical difficulties. I will also film um, in panoramic view instead of with my phone upright. So thanks for watching, there will be more.